Advice on BBC London News. A report finds that doctors at the clinic that treated baby Peter were overworked. I was desperate for our concerns to be addressed and I knew that this was a very unsafe service and our concerns were not acted on in a timely way. Also tonight, was this fire in South London two years ago a missed opportunity to help improve safety in council blocks? Plus, most teachers ban them, so why is the mobile phone part of the lesson at this school in the capital? And how a U-turn for London's New Year's Day parade will let Americans wake up to Big Ben. Next, students at a West London school are being given top-of-the-range mobile phones to use in class. The trial, said to be the first in the country, hopes to find out if this new technology can aid learning. But those against the idea say it'll just be a distraction and is not the way to teach children. Gareth Therby investigates. Nothing unusual about this lesson, the method's all very traditional. But in another classroom, it's anything but. Perfect. Can I see this? Yeah. What's the image? The Why? This convent school in Isleworth is trialling the use of iPhones as a teaching aid. Excellent. You've got a big sign of a Buddha. Now, Buddha didn't look like this. <laughs> the students have volunteered, are being lent the phones, and only have to pay for the calls. It is about £10 a month, but um, it's quite reasonable. It's less than I spend on usual phones. I used to have a contract where I paid £25 a month. But how is it useful in school? It may be down to the applications or apps. Well, I found one that's basically the periodic table. I've got like a Shakespeare or the whole load of, his shape, like, of Shakespeare's work. I think it would be a real benefit for the school. I think nationally it could be a real benefit for schools. Um, we have to embrace this kind of technology. If we lock it away, we're not preparing these kids for their futures at all. But even though this is only an experiment, it's already attracting some criticism. Mobile phones on their own have quite rightly been banned from many classrooms because they do provide, pro prove to be such a uh, distraction. Also, the case for learning by computers has actually not been pro proved at all. What you did today was better because you actually went sideways on. Brentford City Learning Centre, which already has its own television studio, has put up the money for this trial. It comes to £12,000 for 30 iPhones. We're not being sponsored by Apple, we're not being sponsored by O2. This is an independent trial, we're an educational establishment. We want to see if the device is integrated into what the children do and how they learn. So it may be a particularly interesting year at school for a few, provided of course the phones aren't lost or stolen. Gareth Furby, BBC London News. Well, you've been emailing us all day with uh, your views on this one there. Let's take a look at a few. Russell Samuel says, I think that using phones at school is a good thing if they're being used for the right reasons like learning and not being used in tests and exams. Uh, David Rashian Corona is against the idea, saying it could lead to violence with pupils from other schools stealing mobile phones. Uh, Mark Emanuelson got in touch praising it. He says, it's wonderful to see schools using new technology. Children should be using the very latest cutting-edge applications to help them when they go into the workplace. Uh, do keep your thoughts coming into us at the usual address. I do like reading them. Uh, that address, you London at bbc.co.uk. There's to be a new turn at London's New Year's Parade to keep American fans...